This is after feeding time. With the homies. Nice and full. Fed them heavy. I'll skip tomorrow. They won't eat tomorrow. <laughs> they like being over here because this is that little area where I don't know. That's the way. I got the power head, then the outputs on both filters, they get them a lot, a lot of current over there. And that's good right they young, so they can stay strong. But I'll slow it down as they get bigger. But as you can see, it's 10 fish in here. You only see a few. You don't see all ten. See they poking out everywhere. But these is African cichlids. That's what they need. They need spaces where they go in. <coughs> Except these ones. They will go in that big one right there. Well, I ain't big, but medium size. They will go in. Those are peacocks, cichlids. And they like to be open water. But they're still young also. He's a menace. But he got put in this place quick. Yep. Coming along, coming along, coming along. Friday, his filter will be in, his grab will be in, it ain't focusing, there we go, I still got gravel in here that I'm going to take out, I got to get it all together, it'll be together, can y'all see me do the process with this tank, I don't know what I'm going to put in it, I might just keep him open, or Babies, I don't know, but ain't no rush to put nothing in this tank yet. This was the main one I need to get up and run in. Then back here, oh, he got all my. This is all the food I'm just testing out the new babies with. Most of this food right here is vegetable based. With some African cichlids, you don't want to feed them too much protein based. You give them bloat. Scientifically named Malawi bloat. But here we go. They'll be going to sleep later. Time of set on the lights to go off at 11. And if you can see that blue light, where is that? Boom. That's the ultraviolet sterilizer. He'll stay on all night and he'll go off at 6 a.m. That's the tank, y'all, so far. Peace.